Imagine holding your favorite gamepad in hand, with your fingertips gracefully moving, leaving a mark with every action in the world of Android games. Or when your keyboard and mouse transform into firearms and sights in a shooting game, offering you unparalleled precision control. This is not just gaming, this is art. However, you might have noticed that most Android games haven't opened their doors to gamepad or keyboard and mouse. But don't worry, integrating them into your game is much simpler than you think. With just a few Bluetooth input devices or by connecting through a dock, along with a magical app, K2 or Mapper, then you can embark on a whole new gaming experience. This video is your secret guide. We will walk you through the process from launching K Tour, activating it, to step by step mapping configuration with detailed instructions prepared for you. Just follow our lead, and you will easily master a new realm of gaming. Don't delay. First, connect your devices, open K Tour, and activate it. First step enable the floating widget's permission. Find K Tour and click to allow. Second step Enable developer options by finding the build number and repeatedly tapping it. For different phones, it might not be the build number. If you can't find it, just repeatedly tap on different options. Third step, enable USB debugging. Find USB debugging and turn it on. Fourth step, allow overlays over settings, which is permitting floating windows to be shown on the settings page. This must be enabled, otherwise you won't be able to see the floating window in the final step. After enabling, you need to tap the button, mark as done, to next step. Fifth step, enable wireless debugging. Find wireless debugging and turn it on. The final step, pair with pairing code. After enabling, a floating window will appear. Then please manually enter the wireless debugging page. Tap on pair device with pairing code and enter the pairing code into the floating window to pair. If there's no response for a long time, please restart your phone and try again. If that doesn't work, please contact customer service. After activation, check all devices are enabled. After entering the game, we see the K-Tour floating widget in the top left corner, and we need to do some configuration. First, add an aim key so the mouse can control the view. The default shortcut is the middle mouse button, but here I change it to a side button. Then drag it to the right to simulate the initial position of a finger press. Next, add a left click for attack, right click for dodge, and spacebar for jump. Then add D-pad key. And you can adjust the radius. Test it. Pressing the side button enters aiming mode. Press the side button again to exit aiming mode. Next, set up the shortcut for the backpack, aiming to press the tab key click the position of the backpack, and then exit aiming mode. This requires using a macro key. Add a macro with the shortcut key tab, add a normal click command, select the position, adjust the position. Add an aiming mode command, choose off. Let's test it. Press the side button to enter aiming mode, Press tab, and you're in the backpack with the mouse appearing. Then make it support close. Add a macro with the shortcut escape. Add a normal click command. Select the position. Adjust the position. Save. Add a sleep command. Wait for the backpack window to close. Finally, add an aiming mode command. Choose on. Let's test it. Press escape and the backpack window closes. Next, add a temporary mouse release key, which in aiming mode 
allows releasing the mouse by long pressing and resumes aiming mode upon release. Add a macro in the key down box. Add an aiming mode command. Choose off. In the key up box, add an aiming mode command. Choose on. Let's test it. Long press control button, the mouse appears. Release control button. Aiming mode is activated. Perfect. Then add the other function keys. Here, it supports combo shortcuts. With such configuration, any game can be played with a gamepad and keyboard and mouse, making ARPG and shooting games much more convenient. Also, MOBA games have great supported. Finally, I'll teach you how to locate problems. In the settings, click More. Enable Display Pointer Location, and you can see the simulated operations, which helps us locate problems. The movement trajectory of each key will be displayed. Remember to turn it off after debugging. Essentially, all games that don't support gamepad or keyboard and mouse can be set up this way. That's the entirety of this video's content, hoping K-Tour opens a new door to the world of mobile gaming for you. Lastly, just imagine, what would it be like to play games by casting your phone to the TV via an HD cable?